Hey guys, so I'm going to try and keep this one short and simple. Um, I just got my Draco Malfoy wand in today from the Noble Collection. I got the Ollivander's box version with the curtains and everything. I like a dark forest green. Then the yellow box. My other review said I don't know why they uh, chose yellow for his box. Because he's not a Hufflepuff, he's a Slytherin. While the curtains are green, the box is yellow. So the box should have at least been green or black. Then you got the Ollivander's stickers on the sides, they're both the same. So, on to the wand itself. This is uh, Draco's wand, handed off well, and then taken from Harry. Well, not really taken, but won over. Um, it's a really nice wand, I think. You can barely see the trademark logos and stuff. It's a uh, series 14. Um, I like the overall design to be honest. This is my second uh, Noble Collection one. My first was uh, James Potter's one. But this is my first in the Ollivander's collector box. Um, if anyone never noticed, there's a small groove right there on the handle. Pretty cool, gives it some character a little bit. Then you got the two rings right here. I think it, the wand is 14 inches. I can't remember, but the original, his original wand in the books is it's made of popcorn and at 10 inches. I can't remember what the core is. Um. I like the overall paint scheme, uh, black handle and then like dark brown right here and then regular brown and the shaft mixed with some black. See if I can try and get that in. You can kind of see some. I don't have an HD cam yet, so I can't really show full details or anything. And then get a close up of the handle to the shaft area. Or try to anyway. There we go. So I call that black and then uh, dark brown and brown mixed with some black in. Um, I like the histories of the Malfoy wands because um, but, uh, Lucius and Narcissus is really decorated while Draco's is kind of plainish. And then, because then on Lucius's wand, he got the full cane. And then the wand is hidden and the came with a snake head on the bottom of the handle and then Narcissus is nice and decorated and both of theirs are all jet black throughout with silver accents. Um, and then while Draco's is kind of plainish. It's plain and simple design. But with some character in it. And this one actually came in good shape. It's not too, too heavy, but kind of heavy. But I wouldn't go dropping it or anything, because it might break. It's nice and solid. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend Noble Collection for your Harry Potter specific character wands and then better get some Ollivander's collector box wands while you still can.
forgot uh, how much longer those are last. Um, these boxes basically. And uh, the curtains on this one's actually a little bit uh, darker green color. I've seen some of uh, the older ones and they're kind of a lighter green color. So yeah, I'll let you guys look at the wand again real quick. Let's see if I can do this without dropping it. There we go. Pretty nice wand. Nice and simple design but with some character in it. I'll get the paint colors up close. Got that black handle and then black brown right here and then brown on, on the south and that some black. And then like I said you can barely see the TM logos because it's such a dark color. Um, and, oh there we go. Like if you see it, if you hold it up close and look at it, you can obviously see it. But like in a distance, you can't really see it much. So that's my review on the Noble Collection Draco one. Very cool. I recommend them again. So that's it, guys. See ya.